In this video, I'm going to show you how to show your product variation on your shop page, category page, and archive page. So we've got this show shop on page um, plugin enabled. So we're going to navigate to the settings, show single variation. Okay, and then here we've got the variation title. But let's head over to the product page to make more sense of what this option actually does. So let's go all product. Okay, and let's find one of our product uh, variation product. Uh, variable product. Okay, so this VNIC is a variable product. So let's click edit. And then when we go to variation, and select a variation and then we'll have these new options here which says that show in search result so say for example if someone searches um, v neck t red then we'll show this particular variation in the search result um, show in filter result similar as well show in catalog so we want to tick all these which i ha already have done and uh, take all these which I have done so you do it to each variation that you want to show individually within the search result so I've created this tag here for single just so we can find this um, variable product easier so now when we click on um, the single tag then here we can see all the product uh, variation so currently they've all got the same name. So let's head back over to our global settings. So here it says um, for the variation title format that we want to inherit the variation title. We can append the attribute. So for example, we've saved that option. Let's refresh this. And it should say something like V neck T red Phoenix T green, blue, and so on. So let's refresh the page. There we go. So we've got the Vnet T red, green, and so on. But you can be more creative than that. So if we go back to the global settings, here we want to select this custom title here. So it says we need to use product for the product name. So let's copy this short code here. So it's just brackets product. And then we've also got this other short code here, which says variation, which is basically the variation attribute. So I was a selected um, product in variation. So let's save this and let's see how it reads. It should read a lot more natural. So this should say V neck t shirt in red. And this is great um, for search engine purposes as well. So if someone's searching for a red V-neck, so if I wanted as well, I could put red at the start. So let's refresh this page just to show you. So here you can see V-neck t-shirt in red. If I wanted, I could put, I could swap it around. Let's, let's do that now actually to show you. So let's start with um, a variation. So red v-neck right so that's how it should read let's save this okay setting has been saved and then let's refresh this page let's refresh the page again there we go so we've got um red v-neck t-shirt green v-neck t-shirt blue green sorry blue v-neck t-shirt so this is super useful um, for search engine and also just for the user browsing experience so if you imagine someone typed in um, red v-neck okay so I'm, I'm not actually searching the shop page um, this is currently searching the post, I believe. So let's head over to our shop page. Hopefully we've got a search option on here. Okay, so we don't have a search option. So I'm not able to illustrate. 
this point. Um, let me pause this video. Right, so this particular theme doesn't actually have a um, search archive page for WooCommerce, meaning it doesn't support um, WooCommerce search. So I'd have to use a different theme or let's try storefront actually. Let me pause this video and get back to you. Okay, so I've switched my theme to one that supports WooCommerce fully. Um, which is storefront and here I'll search for t-shirt so if you can imagine someone searching for red t-shirt okay it's taking us directly to this <laughs> v-neck this red v-neck as you can see here but as you can see the search experience is a lot more user-friendly so instead of them seeing this default image um, Okay, it's just so happens that red's the first one. But in if you imagine your user searching for red v-neck and are searching on your default image, which might be green or blue, it's not the best user experience. This is why this show single variation plugin is so useful because it makes it easier and more convenient for your users to find exactly what they're looking for. Again, if they're browsing your store, they can see quickly how the t-shirt looks in red, how it looks in blue, without having to click through to your product page to see all the different colors in which you have. So that's about brings us to the end of this video. If you've got any questions, feature requests, don't hesitate to reach out to support and someone will get back to you as soon as possible.